<laughs> One word. <laughs> Mosquitoes. Been bit on the face twice and I've been here for like one minute. I'm at a river. Look at these things, you can see them. Oh my gosh. It's insane. Anyways, we'll see how long I make it. I'm on a river on the North Shore to do some rock hounding. Hopefully I can find some good stuff and not get carried away by a mosquito. Let's see what we can find. So the mosquitoes are pretty bad, but I made a rule with them. If you bite me, I whack you. If you don't bite me, you can just buzz around and I'm gonna try to ignore you. I almost didn't wear this hoodie today. <laughs> anyway, I found a couple things, nothing crazy, but I did find some porphyry. So hopefully we find more than porphyry, but let me show you what I got so far. So I'm primarily looking for Lake Superior agates. We got this little shard right here with some quartz. I'm not gonna keep that. And then we got some host rock here with a little little baby like quartz nodules, little egg nodule. Again, not going to keep that. But right here, we got ourselves a nice chunk of porphyry with beautiful, beautiful feldspar crystals in it. That is really nice. We got a lot of rocks to go through, and I got my view tube with me today. So hopefully. It looks better than that when I'm looking through <laughs> the water because that's not great. But we got a lot of rocks to go through, so hopefully we find something. I was just coming to show you this guy. I got bit once there and on my thumb. It's got some nice crystals in that. Come on, you guys. Nice crystals in that. But then I saw this, which is, in my opinion, way cooler. This is one of the best like little coral fossils I've found in a river up here on the North Shore. It's got a little smiley face, hey. I'm happy too, happy to be out here getting eaten up. This one's definitely coming home with me. That is so sweet. Wow, I love, love the details up in here. That is so beautiful. Heck of a sweet find. I didn't know you could find fossils up here like, like of this quality. That makes me really happy. I could have swore that this was an agate because those lines, I was like, oh yeah. And then, no, not at all. It's just, I don't know what that is. It's all broken up, but it's not an agate. This one right here, it has some limonite staining on it and stuff, but it's like mainly host, kind of like that rhyolite. This guy, definitely not an agate, but it is so pretty. I thought I'd show you. And then right here, this guy it looked kind of funny. I went through it in the river and where is it? Right there, there's a little pocket of agity goodness in there. So, among all these rocks, there's definitely, definitely gonna be an agate. I'm feeling it, we're gonna find it today, hopefully. Oh, the mosquitoes are trying. I don't think I've got bit on this hand. A Couple times on this, we're even. I think we're three for three for bites versus wax. But, I'm gonna keep searching here and we'll find a good agate. I'm feeling it. <laughs> well, hallelujah, we found ourselves an agate right there. <laughs> Oh, let's get it washed off. Oh, man. Between these mosquitoes and just like, I am overheated like crazy. I am very, oh my gosh. Look at the bands on that bad boy. Ooh. Oh boy, that is sweet. Totally worth it coming out just for this one right here. Oh man, that makes me happy. There, I told you they're here. We're gonna find one. This is actually, I've been in this spot one time. This is probably tied for the best egg I've ever found at this spot. So, I think there's more to be found. So, <laughs> let's keep going through all these rocks right here. It's awesome. I got some more finds for you. Got this chunk of porphyry here. It's got some nice fat crystals in it. Check those out. That is sweet. I like that one. Then I found another chunk of quartz. It's got some crystals in there, little baby crystals, but it's fun to see. Be fun to find some really nice ones. And then this guy, it almost looks like Chalcedony, like pure Chalcedony, which is like the bandless form of agate. So I think I might keep this one and take a closer look at it later, and maybe even cut it down the road. But yeah, we'll keep moving.
big old chunk of porphyry. Oh, yeah, but, yo, it's way bigger than I thought. That's cool. Let's rinse that off. Let's do it. It's looking pretty good. Can I do it? Yeah. Look at those crystals. Feldspar. Pretty sweet. I just found something that I didn't think was an agate and it totally is. This is awesome. This guy right here. I find stuff like this all the time that I don't think is an agate. I found it right down below me here. Look at, there's bands in there. Absolutely. Bands, quartz. Look at the formation of that. That is so crazy. There's definitely bands in there. By golly, interesting. I've never found one that looks like this at all. It's not like a premium grade by any means, but it's it's got them bands, folks. That is cool, kind of confusing because I find stuff like that all the time. That color, I just toss it, it's waxy. Might have to take a closer look from now on because I never found any with this kind of host and stuff in there. It is one of a kind for sure. I've never found anything like that. Okay, not as hopeful, but here's another one of those chunks. I don't see any bands with it. It's the same kind of stuff that you can see. It's similar color and all that. I wonder if it's just dependent on its formation, which, you know, who knows? That's pretty sweet. It almost reminds me of like Montana agate with the dendrites and lines in there and stuff. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Um, it's kind of interesting. Very, very interesting. So I was just walking around and thinking, man, I, I got to be the luckiest guy in the world because of all these rocks. I found the only two Lake Superior agates at this spot. Like <laughs> the only, only two that exist here. Uh, I'm just kidding. But and it's been a while since I found one, and gosh, it goes like that. It goes in little spurts, like you find some good stuff, like stuff that's, I'm finding stuff, but kind of like cooler stuff that I think you guys might want to see, but it, I don't know, it gets hard, especially the mosquitoes. They're kind of distracting and stuff, but either way, I found a couple really nice agates. I'm happy. Still have plenty of time here today, but a bit of a, a bit of a drought at the moment. <laughs> on this hunt so wish me luck hopefully we find more so i think kind of dabbed it here a couple times might have found a decent galaxy stone which is <laughs> amygdaloid of basalt oh looks like it's got a lot of little itty bitty little itty bitty pockets it doesn't look too like not too promising almost like a mix of amygdaloidal and vesicular basalt so I'll leave this one here if it was more full probably would have taken it cut it but we'll leave it so I'm sure you can see that that's what I saw I plop this down on there and BAM <laughs> ah. oh, looks like it's majority majority host rock but it's got some bands in the the bottom here by the quartz and some bands up in there that's that's pretty cool I'm trying to get it to focus that's pretty cool not bad I'm gonna get that cleaned up and get all those um, little baby leeches off it or whatever that is but hey it's got some agony goodness going on in there I think this would be a fun cutter probably be pretty light but could be fun could be cool <laughs> So I'm back to the beginning where I started being eaten alive by mosquitoes and they're back eating me alive. <laughs> but on the way back, I didn't find much. I got a little agate nodule in host rock with a little geode pocket. Looks like there's some calcite in there. I'm gonna save it and cut it open later on. But that is it for me. I am tapped out, exhausted from swatting mosquitoes. They won, of course, they always do. And I am just grateful and happy to have found two 
Well, if you count the last one, three Lake Superior agates in different forms in each one, which is pretty cool, and some pretty good stuff. Mosquitoes are terrible this year because of all the rain, but I'm glad I got out. I'm gonna keep getting out regardless of the skeeters. Thank you all so much for joining me on this hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye.